Good morning, Bulldogs. I'm Hallie Schwarzkopf. And I'm Carla Perez. And welcome to your BNN News Show. This week, we'll be showing you more on the NHS induction, dance marathon, and the Great Gatsby Party. All this and more here on your Bulldog News Network. Last week, U.S. history classes displayed projects they had created about the history of North. Here's Luke McDonald to tell you more. BNN sat down with Felix Lawson and Will King to talk about their NHD project and what they learned from this experience. Um, my 150 year uh, project here at North was really fun. I got to teach some students here at North about Chuck Taylor and the history of Columbus North. I just I pick I pick Chuck Taylor just because I like I have like a like for liking for shoes and uh, I just wanted to learn more about the Converse brand because everyone was wearing them and I decided it'd be really fun to do. During my freshman year, I did NHD and uh, I remember it was a really long process and there were a lot of rules. But uh, the 150th year project was really fun and didn't have so many rules. I learned a lot about the history of North and how Chuck Taylor impacted millions of lives and how it was a stepping stone for North and people all over the world. This is Dimitri Bailey reporting for BNN. The first round of boys basketball sectionals took place on Tuesday. The next games will be on Friday and Saturday. BNN spoke to a player to learn how he prepared for the games. Columbus North plays Shelbyville in the first round of sectionals on Tuesday, February 26th. BNN sat down with sophomore point guard Reese Harmon to discuss their sectional drawings. In our section we have us, Columbus East, East Central, Bloomington South, Bloomington North, and Shelbyville. We play Shelbyville tonight at 7.30 and East plays B North. And then the winner of our game plays East Central and the winner of the East B North game plays Bloomington South. Harmon discusses what time and where sectionals will be held at. Tonight at 6 and 7.30, Friday 6 and 7.30, and then I'm not sure what time the Saturday game is, but that'll be the champion. Sectionals is here at Columbus North. Reese talks about how the team is preparing for the game and why he thinks the Bulldogs can win sectionals. We just have had really good days of practice and uh, we're scouting really well, I feel like, so we're pretty confident. Because I feel like we have a pretty good team this year. We have good team chemistry and I just, I feel like we have a good chance. We got a good draw and it's at our place, so. This is Corbin Armstrong reporting for BNN. The 20th annual dance marathon took place this past Saturday at Central Middle School. BNN reporter Julia Eakin spoke to committee member Farah Zukafly to learn more. The 2019 Dance Marathon to benefit Turning Point happened from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. on Saturday, February 23rd. BNN spoke to committee member Farah Zukafly to learn about her experience at the dance. I enjoyed more, most about Dance Marathon is um, the setting up the foods between the hours. It got really stressful, but it was really fun. My favorite part about planning the dance was when we visited the business owners and see if they would like to donate. Farah Zilkel Free tells BNN why she initially decided to attend Dance Marathon. I actually didn't want to go the first time. My mom kind of forced me because she was friends with the business owner that started all this. And then he forced me into it basically, but I've been doing it for three years now and I really liked it. It's a really good cause. I think the only thing that was different was I was on a different committee the first year and the themes were different, that's it. I learned how to really boost my confidence, but I used to be really shy, but then they kind of pushed me out of my shelf, talked to business owners and other leaders to see if they would donate. If you want to learn more about Dance Marathon, contact Turning Point in Columbus. This is Julia Eakin reporting for BNN. The zoology classes participated in a shark dissection this week. Here's Jacob Norton to tell you more. At Columbus North High School, zoology classes are dissecting many animals. BNN sat down with Dimitri Richardson to learn about his experience dissecting sharks. Well, my name is Dimitri Richardson. I'm in Mr. Kefever's sixth period zoology class. Um, for our class, we dissect a lot of animals and kind of learn about like, their like, internal and like, external anatomy. So right now, we're doing sharks. Uh, well, we just started doing the dissections, but so far, 
they have a lot of like interesting like internal organs. They have a lot of um, a lot of things that help them be able to better sense their prey and survive in like an aquatic environment. So, so far, we've looked, been looking at like their teeth. And I guess their teeth is kind of cool because their teeth are like pointed like backwards. I guess so it's kind of like, interesting. This is Sam Lawson reporting for BNN. New members of National Honor Society were recently inducted in a ceremony that took place Monday of this week. Here's Kyle Carlson to tell you more. BNN sat down with recently inducted National Honor Society members Rishi Polodushu and Kate Falkner to learn more about NHS and why they decided to join. The induction was good. We dressed up and we walked on stage and got our certificate and then signed the book. And the seniors on the board gave speeches and we did the pledge. I wanted to join National Honor Society because first of all, I qualified for it. And just because I knew that it was a very uh, well-known organization within the school and we have a very good chapter for uh, community service. Rishi Polodushu explains the requirements needed to join NHS. Um, one of the big advantages is definitely being able to get out. With NHS, it looks good on college applications and it's a good way to provide service for your community because we have to do service hours. First time inductees into NHS, um, they uh, were able to be recognized at the meeting the parents and everyone, they were able to come and you get a certificate. We went through what it meant to be an NHS member, um, being uh, for the people, you're going out and helping the community, you're serving the community. The National Honor Society meets Wednesday mornings in the auditorium every few weeks. This is Kyle Carlson reporting for VNN. Every year, the AP Literature classes have a party after reading The Great Gatsby. Students dressed up in costume and watched The Great Gatsby movie in the LGI room. BNN reporter Kennedy Englau spoke to one attendee to learn more. BNN sat down with junior AP Lit student Josh DeGroote to discuss how he participated in The Great Gatsby Party. The party was for um, the AP Lit students for The Great Gatsby. Um, for extra credit, you can dress up as someone from the 1920s or like in that period. Um, they had a photo booth with like little props that you could take pictures with and then they played the movie. It helped to visualize because you imagine it in your head and then like you don't know how someone would put it like you would actually see it in real life so it kind of just made it more tangible. My favorite part is the party scene where he meets Gatsby. This is Kennedy Ingalaw reporting for BNN. That's it for today Bulldogs. I'm Hallie Schwartzkopf. And I'm Carla Perez. Have a great weekend.